Alright guys, welcome to Live with Penelope. Actually, that's a lie already. It's not live because by the time you're watching this, it's going to be pre-recorded. Well, um, the indie music guy gave me some advice to put up a new video every week, right? And I thought that was a, a cover and I thought that was a good idea. Um, uh, I might have loads actually that I've already done on the camera that I just need to upload. So it's better than doing a live stream show because it's not live. Well, if that makes sense anyway. You can see one of my security lies. But um, here I am reviewing a new album that I borrowed at the public library, which is also known as my office these days, since I don't have internet at home. I'm going to turn that down for a minute. And this lovely thing that I'm listening to is... Steve Martin and his banjo. That's right, Steve Martin, the comedian. You know, the American guy with the white hair. Um, yeah, I just, I, I'm not a big one to... Um, borrow music and listen to loads of things on YouTube and online because, well, I don't have internet at home and I have a life with kids and things like that, so I practice trying to be a good mother when I can. And anyway, this thing caught my eye, so I don't borrow a lot of music, but truly wonderful and just as advertised. I had to get this and I started to look at this, um, the sleeve notes, as you do, discerning label readers such as myself. I let the banjo talk by Steve Martin and look at this cute little photo of, um, I'm gonna look at it myself to make sure I'm getting it. Isn't that nice? I think it's a superimposed adult face of Steve Martin on a child's kind of body. Kind of creepy, really. But anyway, I'll take it for the uh, kind of artistic license that it was meant, I'm sure. It says, I have loved the banjo my whole life, and this album of 14 compositions is the result of 45 years of playing seriously as well as playing around. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I thought um, it was pretty cool, and I'm not disappointed. Admission, I don't really am crazy about the banjo. Being a bit of a fiddler myself, and I played the harp as well, so I guess I'm all la di don, think I'm better, but this is a pretty fun album, and I'm not a big country music fan either. Um, it's got, I love what he writes, uh, the, the sleeve notes are really cool and funny. Um, I think that was number three, which was called Ho Down at Alice's. Okay, what he writes about that is, Alice McEwen is married to Bill McEwen, my manager-producer during my early film and stand-up years. I wrote this song in the late 60s and dedicated it to her. I was trying to capture the cheerfulness of the banjo and write a song that sounded like it was written years ago. And now, guess what? Actually, it was written years ago. The middle break was an effort to counter the simple melody of the tune. Also, I loved the name Alice. That was really cute. So, I love that bit of um, kind of funny singing their voice. This is probably too long for to qualify for a short review, so I'm going to end it just about now. Here's another really cute, um, great um, uh, title. God, I'm not really with it. It's kind of like, frailing is not in the stupid dictionary. So um, yeah, I recommend that album uh, if you're open-minded and stuff. Uh, if I knew it sounded like this before I'd borrowed it, probably wouldn't have borrowed it, but because I didn't know what to expect and was kind of open-minded, maybe it's because it's late and maybe tired, kind of finding it quite good and novel on the efforts, on the marriage of itself being itself. So that's it. Maybe I'll sing a song for you next time. Um, see you soon. Take care. Bye.